Marbella, Spain, a beautiful, charming coastal town lined with narrow cobblestone streets, colorful plazas, and stunning beaches, typically attracts a wealthier European crowd looking to indulge in a bit of luxury and party the night away. But today, your average Joe backpacker, me, is gonna take Marbella by the horns and absolutely destroy this charming town. Just kidding. I'm just gonna enjoy this little slice of paradise and take you guys along with me. Vamanos. So I thought I'd start off my time here in Marbella by taking a boat just a few minutes away to Puerto Banos, which is known as a playground for the rich and land of the ultra-luxury, lined with multi-million dollar yachts and top-of-the-line sports cars. It's not every day I get to watch people drive by in a Porsche, Ferrari, Lamborghini, and I don't even mean me driving, I mean watching other people drive these cars. I mean, I rode up to Puerto Banus with a supermarket sandwich. Yeah. So if you guys have watched my channel before, you know that I always love to immerse myself in the local culture no matter where I am, and Marbella, Spain is no exception. The only problem here is I don't really have the funds to do it. So there's only one solution. I'm gonna take the 50 euros I have in my wallet and head to the casino. No, but seriously, I'm gonna spin the roulette wheel and double my money. I mean, I guess I'm not gonna actually spin the wheel, though it would be pretty cool if I did, but I am gonna double my money because there's a secret to roulette that I'll tell you guys after I win. And just like that, we are 50 euros richer, so you're probably wondering what the trick is to winning at roulette. Well, bet on black. Unless it's Chinese New Year, then bet on red, but as simple as that, amigos. So I actually really don't support gambling, and I really don't like it to be honest, but when in Marbella, no, still don't gamble. But let's go have some fun! supermarket sandwich After having way too much fun in Puerto Banus and spending my 50 euro winnings way too fast, it was time to jump back on the boat and head back to the center of Marbella to explore the city beach and the incredibly charming Old Town. I am back in the center of Marbella now, and Puerto Banus was wild. It's definitely for the ultra luxury, but even if you don't have the money, I definitely recommend checking it out. For 15 euros, you can take a round trip boat from the marina here in Marbella. So it's a pretty cool experience and definitely something worth seeing. I'm now walking along the promenade of the beach here in Marbella. Right behind me is Playa Venus, which is the main beach here in Marbella, and looks pretty nice actually. So I've made it down to Playa del Venus, the main beach here in the town center of Marbella, and the water is actually really clear. It's about 6 p.m. now, so it's pretty calm, not a ton of people, but if you do come here, there are a ton of lounge chairs if you just want to relax, and tons of people selling water sport activities like kayaks, stand-up paddleboarding, jet skiing, etc. But it's actually really nice, really calm, and really peaceful.
connecting Playa del Venus, the main beach in Marbella, with the old town of Marbella is Avenida del Mar, which stands for Avenue of the Sea. And you have this beautiful pedestrian walkway with tons of flowers, statues, and fountains. It's really, really nice. And then at the beginning of the old town, you have beautiful Alameda Park or Parque Alameda. And it kind of feels like a little bit of a jungle. You have all these different unique trees. And then you have a nice little fountain in the center. Really, really nice, really tranquil. And now let's go to the old town. And then Right across the street from the park, you enter the beautiful, charming old town of Marbella with all these narrow streets, beautiful white buildings, flowers, and colorful plazas. Let me show you guys around. And then at the center of the old town is Plaza de los Naranjos, which stands for Plaza of the Oranges, and you have these beautiful orange flowers all throughout the plaza. Tons of little places to get a coffee or a glass of wine, and this could very well be the most beautiful and charming plaza I've ever seen. Walked about 10 minutes out of the center of the old town and I've made it here to Parque de la Represa or Represa Park and it's a beautiful tranquil area, a nice pond, tons of flowers, birds and just a really nice place to relax and escape all the crowds of Marbella. With that, I'm gonna end the vlog here for today, but I hope you guys enjoyed following along with me as I explored beautiful Marbella, Spain. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe down below if you're not already, and I'll catch you guys next week. Hasta luego.